Hi guys, it's me, Mr. Bertosh, your incredibly handsome science teacher. And we are going to learn in this video how to solve the second layer of a speed cube. In our first video, you'll remember, we learned how to solve the white cross. Uh, in that video, I showed you how to find edge pieces that have white on them and assemble them on the bottom layer in the correct order and position so that you have a white plus sign with the uh, edge colors matching the center colors. In the second video, we learn how to find corner pieces. Remember that corner pieces have three sides. Edge pieces only have two. We learned how to find corner pieces with white and get them into the correct corners so that you end up with a bottom layer that is completely solved. And that is the first two steps of solving the speed cube using basic or beginner's method. So now, we need to do the next step, which is to solve the second layer. When you learn advanced method, you'll do the first and the second layers together at the same time. But for now, we're doing the first layer first, and then we're coming back after that's solved, and we're doing the second layer. So that's what we're going to learn today. I have a cube that I have prepared in advance with the uh, bottom layer already solved, just like we did last time. You will notice that not only do I have white on the bottom, but also all the way around, I've got that entire layer uh, solved. So I've got orange matching orange, blue matching blue, red matching red, and green matching the green center. If you're not quite here yet, that's okay, but it will be difficult for you to go on to the next step because you can't practice the next step unless you're able to get this bottom layer to this point. So if you can't do that yet, don't watch this video yet. I would wait, go back to the other two videos, wherever you're having trouble and practice. Okay. And as I've said before, several times, it's okay. If you, if you're frustrated, as part of the process, remember that you can do difficult things. This is difficult. This is challenging, but you can do it. This is something that you are capable of. It, you just got to put in the time and practice. So go back to the last two videos and keep practicing. And I, you know, give yourself permission to be a little bit frustrated and pull through and you'll, uh, you'll get it. And if you get a little bit behind on these videos, you have access to these videos forever. So that's okay. You can do this at your own pace, okay? If you are ready, if you're able to do the bottom layer, then you are ready to watch this video and we're gonna move forward and solve uh, the next layer. As we work to solve the second layer, the nice thing is that we're going to be using the same muscle memory that we used for the first layer. We're going to be using this back, forward, down, move over and over again. Okay, you practice back, forward, down, and that is going to come in handy now as we work on solving the second layer. So for the second layer, I want you to notice something important. The bottom layer, the first layer, and the top layer have corner pieces and edge pieces. Okay, corner pieces and edge pieces. However, the second layer only has edge pieces because it's got these center pieces instead of corner pieces. So with the second layer, all I need to find are the four edge pieces that go on these four slots and I will have that layer solved because I already have the, uh, the corner pieces, or I mean the center pieces are already where they belong. 
So I'm going to hunt for the four pieces, edge pieces that fit here, 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 and here so that I can get them into place. Well, one clue that you can use, which will make this really easy to spot, is that the none of these four pieces are going to have yellow in them. Okay, remember that white and yellow are opposites. So anything with yellow in it is going to be on the opposite side, which means it's going to be up here on the top layer. So if the pieces belong here on the second layer, which is the ones I'm looking for right now, they cannot have yellow in them. So as I search, they can be here, 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 or here, anywhere where edge pieces go, up here, 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 or here. As I search these slots, looking for these four pieces, I can ignore anything that has yellow in it. Another uh, thing that will help you is to remember that we've already solved the bottom layer. So none of the pieces that we're looking for are going to be in the bottom layer because these pieces are already where they belong. Okay, I like to start hunting in the top because that's usually I can find some there before I look anywhere else. So I'm just going to look uh, and turn the top. Okay, this edge piece it cannot be one I'm looking for because it has yellow in it, right? So I can ignore it. I'm going to turn to the next one. This one, obviously, it has yellow in it as well, so it's not a piece I'm going to use. Okay, well, here's one that has no yellow. It's red and blue. So this piece is one that I can place. Well, where does it go? Okay, it's got red and blue in it, so it's going to go right here, right? It needs to go right here between blue and red. I need to get it right there. Well, how am I going to do that? In order to move the red and blue edge piece down here, there is some terminology that I want you to remember. I want you to remember that this top piece, see how that kind of looks like a flagpole? And that looks like a flag? Okay, remember that this top piece is a flag. It's kind of like waving in the wind, right? It's sitting on top of a flagpole. What color is my flag? red. Okay, that's important because I'm going to turn my flag so that it is opposite the centerpiece of the same color. The flag is red, so I'm turning the top layer only okay, so, so that the red flag is opposite the red center. The other thing I need to look at is the top of the flagpole. What color is the top of my flagpole? The side piece is blue. The reason that that's important is because then I'm going to hold the cube with the blue centerpiece, the blue side, facing towards me. So I now have it set up so that I can insert it right here where it belongs. I have the red flag opposite the red center and the blue top of the flagpole, I'm facing blue towards me. Now all I have to do is the move that you have learned and practiced before, okay, which is back, forward, down. I'm, the piece I'm going to move is the opposite side of the flag. I don't want to move the flag. I want to move this piece on the opposite side of the flag. So I'm going to go back, forward, down. Well, that messed up my bottom piece, didn't it? Okay, and now I've got this bottom piece up here. And that maybe feels wrong, but it's actually not. All I did was uh, I set up my next move, which is going to insert both this piece and this piece right here and here. Okay, in order to do that, I simply do the move you're already familiar with from solving the bottom layer. Okay, I look for my white on the side, top layer, opposite color is red, so I turn that towards the red center just like you did on the bottom layer when you were solving the first layer, and then same move. I'm gonna move the side with the red and white, the side with white, back, forward, down, and look at that. It placed it where it belongs. So far, we've solved this uh, single corner piece. We have three left that we need to get in position. So in order to do that, we need to hunt for the other three edge pieces. And I gave you a hint on how to identify them. Do you remember what that was? I am looking for pieces that don't have yellow in them. I just saw two over here. 
but I want to show you one, a couple first that do have yellow in them so you can see they're the wrong piece case. So this one has yellow in it, this one has yellow in it. They are not uh, pieces that go in the second layer, they go on the top. But these two, both of them are going to go in the second layer, and it doesn't matter which one I pick. I could go either way. So let's just go with this one. What color is the flag? Remember that the flag is that piece on top that's waving in the wind. That's this piece right here. What color is it? It's red. Do you remember what that means? What do I do with that? How am I going to get this piece, which belongs right here? So I've got red that would go right here, green that would go right here. How am I going to get this piece over here stuck right there? I'm going to use the flag in order to position the top in the correct orientation. Okay, it goes to the opposite of the red centerpiece, like that. Okay. Now, how do I know how to hold the cube? Remember, I look at the side, the top of the flagpole. What color is the top of the flagpole? It's green. And that tells me that I need to hold the cube like this. Red is opposite red center. The flag is opposite the red center. I'm holding the top of the flagpole color green facing towards me. And now I'm going to turn the opposite side. Okay, I'm going to go back. The same move we've already learned. Back, forward, down. And it feels like I messed that corner up. But remember what I really did was I set up my next move. Because now all I have to do is find my piece, which is right here, okay, and do the move I did uh, that you practice over and over again when you were solving the first layer. I need to take this, I've got white on the side. I already know how to get that back to the bottom. Look at the opposite color, it's red. So I turn it facing the red center, then I go back, forward, down, and that put that piece where it belongs. Now I've got two solved corner pieces. Okay, and then I'm going to continue hunting. So that one's got yellow in it. That one's got yellow in it. That one's got yellow in it. But here is one that does not. It's orange and blue. What color is my flag? My flag is orange. So that means I go opposite orange. Okay, because that's what the flag tells me. What color is the top of the flag pole? It's blue. So that means right now I'm holding the wrong, the wrong direction because I'm holding with green facing me. So I need to turn it so that blue is facing towards me. Okay. And then I'm going to turn the opposite side of the flag back. So that's really important. You're not turning the flag. You're turning the opposite side of the flag back, forward, down. And then that sets up my next move. So here's my uh, piece, my... Uh, corner piece that has white in it. So I'm going to move the opposite, which is blue, or I'm sorry, orange, move it to the orange side. So it's matching the orange center. And then I do the same move back, forward, down. And that put that piece where it goes. And now I have the entire second layer except for one piece already solved. So I only have this piece left. Okay, this orange and green piece. Flag is green, so I'm going to go opposite of the green. The side was orange, so I'm going to hold orange facing me. And then I'm going to turn the opposite side of the flag back, forward, down. And then I'm going to find that piece. It's right here. Do the same move I had learned when I was doing the first layer. So I go opposite white, which is green. Face it towards the green center, and then back, forward, down. And that gives me an entire second layer that is solved. I want to show you one more scenario that you are going to run into from time to time, which is this that I've set up right here. Okay, notice that my cube is not entirely, my second layer is not entirely solved. It's mostly solved, but I have this one piece right here that's out of place. Okay, notice that I don't have any color. All four edge pieces on the top are yellow. So let's say I'm solving the second layer, and I get to a situation where all four 
edge pieces in the top have yellow in them, and yet they're not yet solved in here. Well, then that just means I have pieces down here on the second layer that are in the wrong place or in the wrong orientation. Super easy to solve. All you have to do is get that piece to the top. <clears throat> and I'm going to do the same move that I've learned before. Okay, so it's back, forward, down. See, now I've got that piece on top. Now I need to fix this bottom piece before I do anything else. So using the same trick, same finger trick that you've already learned, match the red to the red, back, forward, down, put it where it goes. Okay, now I put it on the top, and now I can solve it. So I'm going to look at the flag. What color is the flag? It's red, so I need to go opposite where I currently am. So I'm opposite red. Look at the top of the flagpole. What color is it? It's blue. So I hold blue facing me. And I'm going to turn the opposite side back, forward, down. Okay, and then I need to turn this. So that it's facing the red center, back, forward, down. And now I have it where it belongs. And I am completely solved on the second layer. Well, hello. Thank you for watching my one take rambling science video where I talk a lot and uh, try to do as few and usually no edits whatsoever. So you hear all my ums and my awkward pauses as I try to collect my thoughts into my head. If you like learning about science, do me a favor. Uh, I have classes that I teach over on outschool.com and you can find out about these classes by going to my website, which is handsome science teacher, because I mean, look at this face, handsome science teacher.com, where you can sign up and get access to not only these videos, because well, you already have access to those, right? They're free but also access to packets that go along with them and live conferences with me where we where I teach you and grade your work and we learn together. I have an entire science curriculum from fifth through eighth grade science. Uh, also, you are welcome to, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, that helps me too, just because it gets my, the word out about me.